chasing a once in a lifetime opportunity. Clap. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take all, all the world. world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both! I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever! But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion! Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. 
This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Laverne's covering that territory. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. There's nothing to pick up. It's stuck to the floor. It's stuck to the floor. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. It's stuck to the floor. I don't have anyone to call. I left my little black book at home. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. I have three just like it at home. Hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. Why should I do that? That kind is too bulky to carry around all day. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I don't really want it. It won't go any further. It's stuck to the floor.
out of order. Out of order. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Die! We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough! Uh-oh! Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? 
My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. It can't do anything without a new diamond. I don't want to cause any more trouble. No way! It's Maybe I put them upstairs! That's got to be it! Upstairs! I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. I don't think it's much use without a diamond. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. I think it's designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. Warning! Do not touch the Sludgematic 3000. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery! It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans! Quick! We have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. 
Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. It's empty. It's unplugged. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. I should plug that into the super battery once I get one made. Fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. It's totally covered with crud. Making it dirtier won't help. It's closed. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. You wouldn't be him, would you? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Whoa. Well, nice talking to you, dude. Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. That would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. That would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. That would not be respectful. Besides, I might get caught. Padlock. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendment to the Constitution. It's already open. 
Nah. Nah. It's too complicated for me. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. What a pretty pussycat. Yipe. 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 Where am I gonna put it? 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 I don't wanna. Very Spartan. Yipe! It's closed. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. I don't think I want this. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edison's, Ned and Jed. 
Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. I wonder if there's anything to eat in it. Please, give me back my hammer. 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 Please give me back my hammer. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Nah, I like it the way it is. Well, better not, that might invalidate the patent. These would look better on velvet. <laughs>